Welcome back everyone. Homicide or suicide? It's a debate that has haunted Phoenix for years. How Phoenix police officer Sean Drenth died while on duty. After years of getting zero answers, his family makes a pointed claim about what they believe happened. Brianna Whitney with the investigation in tonight's True Crime Arizona. This is the last call for Sergeant Sean Drenth. Because of Sean, I know I'm a better husband, father, friend, an officer. We will be doing everything humanly possible to find out exactly what occurred. He would want us to go on, but it's hard to do that. As you start looking into things, there were things that started to look a little strange. 34-year-old Sean Drenth lived for his job. Everybody should love their job that much in their lifetime. Everybody should. His mom, Diane, was proud of her only child. He had just been promoted to sergeant and was happily married to his wife and high school sweetheart, Colleen. I was at home and it was probably about what, two o'clock in the morning maybe, when the doorbell rang. October 18th, 2010, Sean Drenth found dead in a parking lot near the state capitol with a gunshot wound under his chin, his shotgun lying on his stomach, his handgun thrown over a fence nearby. But we simply can't jump to conclusions. Officers told Diane it looked like he had been involved in some kind of fight. The race was on to find his killer, but... We turned on the news like that night and I saw a reporter saying apparently it was suicide. That had never come up. Why would Sean have committed suicide in a random public parking lot like that? We asked now retired police sergeant Kevin Buncher to take a look at the case from start to finish from an objective point of view. The fact that the shotgun was used, which is typically secured inside of the patrol car, how did that shotgun get unsecured and out? Kevin noticed another bizarre factor, the fact that Sean Drenth may have been in a fight, but only had dirt on his knees just a basic fight that goes to the ground, you got more than scratches on your, your uniform pants. Stuff is torn up. And if you were fighting for your life, I think it would be much more severe than dirt on your knees. But he says just minutes after Drenth died, the investigation went downhill too. The biggest problem overall with the scene was it was completely destroyed and contaminated. It was terrible. Dozens of officers stormed the scene, tainting the entire area with footsteps and DNA of other police officers. Would you go as far as to say that Phoenix PD botched that initial investigation from the start? Botched is a strong word, but I think that any Phoenix person, Phoenix supervisor would admit that that's exactly what happened. But Kevin still came to the same conclusion, reviewing the case. I do believe it was a, a suicide stage to look like a homicide. And the shotgun is one of the elements that leads me to that conclusion. He says it would have been extremely difficult for another person to assumably get the shotgun out of Sean's car. And why would they when he had a handgun and a backup handgun on him? What about the recoil? of the shotgun. So when they found him, right, shotguns laying like this. So many people have asked, well, if he had shot himself, how would it have laid so just perfectly? Just where it was. Right where it was. Was he kneeling? Was he laying down? Was he standing up? All those combinations of things could lend themselves to that gun going any different direction. The question becomes, did he have any motive to commit suicide? His family says no. Others say yes there were criminal charges pending against this police sergeant for some crimes that were committed within the department. Several Phoenix police officers were involved in a fraud case, being paid thousands of dollars for work they didn't do. Sergeant Sean Drent was part of the investigation. Right before an indictment was expected to come down, Sean Drent died. Do we have police officers who are suspects? Uh, absolutely not. Uh, do we have police officers who we are looking at as leads in this case right now? Yes, we do. When your persona and your, your whole being is being a cop who is this great person, but you know this serious issue is coming down the pipe, that makes people do things. Cop suicide is a huge problem and it's really pushed under the rug. Do you believe that incident was involved in his death? 
I really don't. Here's the thing, that investigation had been going on for years and we knew about it. It wasn't new. Sean knew about it, it wasn't new. And I feel like somebody who knew about it made sure it got out there as the, uh, the only motive they could ever find for suicide. Phoenix police says the case is closed. If you really thought it was suicide, maybe you would have interviewed his mother because they never interviewed me. And even more peculiar is what happened years later. The city of Phoenix ruled in favor of Sean's widow, Colleen, that she would receive full line of duty death benefits. And if the widow is pulling full line of duty death benefits, then the conclusion would be that it was labeled as a homicide. But if it's labeled as a homicide that has not been solved, I don't know how that could be closed. That brings us back to possible homicide. Do you think he was killed by somebody he knew? Yes. And Sean's mom is staying true to a pointed theory. To this day, I still believe very strongly that he knew something and that he was meeting with someone to tell them, look, you know, this can't go on. I'm not going to cover this. you got to fix this. But meeting up with who? I do believe it was somebody in law enforcement. And I believe they did know how to stage the scene. But I want to know why. I want to know what was so bad that I lost all the rest of those years with my son. Killed by one in his own field of work. Is that possible? Do you think that's probable? Possible, yes. Probable, no. With no clear answers for over a decade, Diane's accusations go a step further against the place where her son found his purpose. So just to be clear, do you believe it was somebody within Phoenix Police Department that killed Sean? I do. I do. I believe it's somebody that he knew in the Phoenix Police Department.